Round 3 kicked off with Narromine taking on Macquarie. Both teams were looking for their first win of the season. Dubbo was strong throughout the whole match, creating numerous tries. Rowan Orcher beating his own man to put Josh Merritt over. Macquarie kept the points coming. Matt Lane once again in the action showing exceptional speed and vision to put a supporting Gusuvalu over to score. A pinpoint kick from McDermott to score a try for the Jets late on. Macquarie were too good and Merritt scored his second from an amazing chip and chase that he achieved twice to seal the 58 to 16 point victory. Cobar were back in Group 11, but it wasn't an easy game first up, taking on Wellington. Despite this, they got off to a great start, scoring first. The rest of the first half was all Cowboys, Kenneth Everson hitting the hole to barge his way over the line. Samuel Coe sealed another try for Wellington, stepping his way inside the defence to finish off a backline move, getting the four-pointer untouched. The speed of Cowboys outside backs were too much for Cobar, exploiting them down the short side to see nice hands finished off by Norman West. A mini Roosters comeback was looking likely when their centre eased his way through the defence in the second half. Jacob McKenna went over in the corner to finish off a cutout, but that's all the Roosters had. Wellington finished off the game in style, running down the short side to chip and chase, then regather to score under the posts. The final score, 62 to 30. Ningen jumped to an early lead at Larkin Oval on Sunday through a try to second rower Dean Woods. Parks hit back with three tries of their own in the first half, with debutant Dan Johnson crossing the stripe to finish off a superb run from centre Dennis Moran. Not long after, Moran found himself crossing the line from a scrum win to give Parks the lead 8-4. Hooker Iona Tana worked his magic to score a try at a dummy half just before the break to give Parks a lead 14-4 at half time. Parks had the momentum coming out of the sheds with Chad Porter earning himself four points through good support play. A lovely kick out of dummy half from Tigers hooker Derek Knight saw centre Leia Sayafagai score a try in the corner. Not long after, quick hands down the short side saw winger Lakini Peronisi run around near the post to score his first try. A good run back towards the post saw Dean Woods split through the defence to cross for his second try. A quick play the ball allowed Ningen to shift the ball left, leaving centre Ryan McPaul an open path to score. Parks hit back with a try to prop David Marsoe, but it was too little too late as Ningen centre Ryan McPaul finished off a good backline move to score his second. Ningen finished off a second half comeback to take the game 36 to 24.